now donate to the channel via Cash App at Cash Tag A Look Into Their Lives or to scan the QR code you see on your screen. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, this is Art from A Look Into Their Lives, and I'm down here interviewing, what's your name? Sherry. Sherry? All right, how old are you? Where are you from? Uh, 37. I'm from Norristown. Norristown? Um, were you raised in a two-parent household? No. No, which parent did you live with? Both. Is that 50 Both? 50? Yeah. 50 50. How many siblings you have? None. No siblings, only child. All right. How far did you make it in school? Graduated high school. You graduated high school. Um, all right, let me see here. You suffer from any kind of addiction? Yeah. All right. Every kind. Everything down here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. Um, and how long have you been an addict for? Um, since I was 14, I guess. I guess you could say the addiction, 14. Uh, who introduced you to the drugs? Myself. <laughs> Yourself? Yeah, yeah, I feel like I got hooked on drugs too. I was like 13 or something. I got on opiates, so I understand that. Mm -hmm. um, is drug abuse something you were exposed to growing up? No. No? Uh, do you regret your decision to start using drugs? Most of the time, yes. Some of the time, no. Yeah. Uh, do you suffer with any kind of uh, mental health issues? Oh, yeah, all kinds. I don't like diagnoses, though, because you may not have that until you get, you know, yeah, you're told like, of what it, what it is, and yeah, then, then you they try have and, all those symptoms afterwards. And then they give you a new medication every time, try to get mm -hmm. you on 30 different things. Um, uh, what do you currently do for a living? Mm, what I do you do to earn know. money? This? This, I mean, handling? I haven't really had to uh, earn money, you know, a whole lot recently, because I, 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 uh, I had some come into me, but I was a... A bank teller for a while. Yeah. Um, customer service, really. A waitress. And what do you then, guys uh, live over in Kensington now? No, uh, I we haven't really been living anywhere. I, I personally would never stay in Kensington overnight. No. There's no point. There's so many nicer places to stay on the street. Why stay in Kensington? Yeah, I know exactly, dude. I know it's so dangerous over yeah, there at night, man. If I was on the street, I'd stay in South Philly or something. Yeah. Uh, what is life like out here on the street? being an addict um stressful stressful hustling yeah. all the time right it's it's it, yeah i mean it's a it's it's a way of life it's a different um culture essentially yeah uh what led up to you like losing your home becoming homeless and all that um in and out of jail not being able to pay the rent Lo so losing you know housing in my townhouse because of that do you have any children? Yeah. Do they stay with family? He stays with his father. Uh, currently in a relationship? I guess you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> this is your man right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, how was your childhood? Did you have a happy childhood? or? It was terrible. Terrible? Yeah, it was terrible. You dealt with a lot of abuse stuff? Yeah. All right. Um, have you ever been arrested as a result of your like choices out here? Hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, have you ever been those. incarcerated? Absolutely. Were you ever upstate or down here? I was upstate three times. Oh wow. Where at Muncie? Muncie and Cambridge. I did uh, two, a year and a half bit at Muncie. And What's Cambridge? That's a new one. No. Uh, um, Phoenix is the new one. Oh, all right. Yeah, Cambridge is out in, by Erie. Oh, all right. Uh, how long were you locked up for? Um, three stints upstate, total of six years. Oh, Altogether, I, I don't even know. Yeah. Uh, did you have any bad experiences uh, out here on the streets? Um, several. Yeah. I think anybody who's out for longer than a week has some type of bad experience, whether it's being robbed or, you know. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Especially Thank down you. here, man. There you go, Thank you very much. Y'all can split the pizza that's in here. Awesome. Thank you so right. much. No problem, no problem. I'm gonna stick it on the bag so it's not on the ground. Rock on. Um, 
But then you have lots of good experiences like that. People yeah, are very, yeah, that was know, nice of that dude, man. Yeah, there are a lot of people who are very, very giving. Yeah, uh, what would you all say to all the young men and women out there that are looking up to, uh, you know, anyone that's, you know, using drugs and in and out of jail and all that? Um, don't give up. Yeah, all right, don't give up. I mean, up. that's it. If, if someone was ever to ask you if you go to rehab, what would you tell them? Tell them that it depends on how they feel about it. Now, me personally, um, with how many institutions I've been in, any type of rehab is uh, a, a different traumatic experience. So <clears throat> I don't view rehab as a place to go get well or get help or get anything. I view rehab as who am I going to live with, what am I going to deal with. And Yeah, yeah, I think they're a waste of time. To be <clears throat> you know, for some people, though, it works. For some people, they go to rehab and it works. And Prison with it. was what worked for me. That's the only thing. They get me off the street for a couple of years. What was it? I said, once I went to prison for, yeah. and I was off the street yeah. for a couple of years, that's when I started, mm -hmm. you know. But, uh, uh, is your family aware of your current situation? Yes. Uh, and if you ever, if you were to ever get help, would they be supportive of you? Mm, I mean, they, they, they'll say they are. Yeah. Whether or not that's true. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. And I whether know. Whether or not when, they follow through. Um... Do you have any kind of support system? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I've got a lot of uh, I got a lot of acquaintances. Okay. I've got him. Uh, do you have any kind of any social media or cash app that you want to stay in case anybody wants to donate or, or reach out to you? Mm, I generally would, but I actually don't. Okay. Yeah. All right. If if you could have one wish, what would it be? Hmm. Serenity, just peace. Not world peace. I don't care about world peace, just, you know. Peace within yourself? Yeah. In just, your life? Yeah, just being content. Yeah, I just feel you. All right. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. I won't take up too much of your time. And uh, I appreciate you doing this. And all right, guys, I'm going to end this video now. Thanks.